Yo, yo, what's going on, you guys? Your boy Devon Terrell in raw form, and welcome to another Help Me Devon Raw tutorial. And today, in this Help Me Devon Raw tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you guys the biggest mistake that I believe people make when it comes to their mixes and their masters as well. So what we're gonna do is this. I'm gonna play you two different mixes, both the same song, but something is different between these two songs. What I want you to pay attention to is the meters. I want you to look right down here and I want you to see where both of these mixes are peaking at. So basically I'm gonna play you one song, I want you to pay attention to the meters and see where it peaks and I'm gonna play you the other mix and you look and see exactly where it's peaking. Stay with me, I promise this is some great useful information that is gonna go a long way if you're running into the issue of why doesn't my mix sound as loud? Why doesn't my master knock? Why does it sound quiet? This is gonna solve it for you probably. So let's play the first one very close. Pay attention to this meter right down here and look where it's peaking. Toxic, we were super sick. That's why we stayed up undercover, so bad ridden. Yeah, it was so contagious that my mama knew. She looked at me like, who are you? Get away from me. Yeah. Now back to this bed that we live in now. Yeah. It's the only place okay. that other one. Toxic, we were super sick. That's why we stayed up undercover, so bad ridden. Yeah. yeah, it was so contagious that my mama knew. She looked at me like, who are you? Get away from me. Yeah. Now back to this bed that Okay, we so I just played you two different mixes that are both peaking at the same exact DB on the meters, but one sounds louder than the other. Now, before we go any further, I am going to ask you guys to subscribe and like this video to keep this channel thriving and going. I'm also going to ask you guys to visit helpmedevon.info to support our channel, uh, get some of our vocal chains, uh, our vocal templates, our presets for a ton of different DAWs, as well as join our community on Twitch for exclusive content and our Discord and follow us on Instagram. Now, I played you two different mixes with two different... Uh, uh, loudnesses or fullnesses or dynamics, etc. What is happening here? Long story short, one just has a louder kick or low end than the other. Now, the one that has the higher kick actually sounds quieter. And the one that has the lower kick sounds louder. What's happening here is when you have more low end or your mixes, what you're doing is eating up your headroom. You're destroying it. You're taking up so much headroom that basically the stuff like your instruments, your vocals, and all that type of stuff is getting lost. And it's tucked because the actual kick or the low end is taking up so much of that. The solution? Lower your low end. Sometimes a lot of us have too much low end and that is what makes your mixes a lot of times uh, sound much more quieter when you compare them to commercial records. Your low end is off. Your low end may be too hot and that's what you're sacrificing, your headroom. So check this out one more time. So this one right here is the louder kick. Listen to this one that has just a louder kick. Everything in this mix is dead the same except for just the kick. So listen to the kick in this. Toxic, we were super sick. That's why we stayed up undercover, so bad ridden. Yeah, it was And now listen to the other one. Toxic, we were super sick. That's why we stayed up undercover, so bad ridden. Yeah, it was It so sounds so much better. Uh literally the only thing that's different is the kick is lower. I made sure that both of these tracks are actually hitting at the same exact peaks. So they are playing back at the same exact volumes, but they're just a difference when it comes to their kicks, which is changing the dynamics of it. So basically when that kick is louder, it's taking up so much of your headroom. Now, when the kick is lower, you have more headroom, thus those vocals, thus everything else in that mix has a chance to sit closer to that kick. Now, when you go into your mastering phase and when you have a mix that's balanced when it comes to your low end, your top end, your mids and everything, now all of that stuff can be brought up in a uniform way as opposed to when you just use that high kick one, the one that has a really loud kick, it's not gonna bring it up in a uniform way. It's really gonna bring up the kick, which let's say for instance, this is the kick and this is everything else. This is what you're doing. You're bringing it up, up, oh, I hit zero, that's it. Now, let's get the more level mix. This is the more level mix. You can bring it up 
we're all coming up together at a more uniform place. And this is where compression and stuff like that comes in in your mastering. So when it comes to this, basically you're just eating your headroom alive with low end and sometimes, or a lot of times, this is making you sacrifice volume overall in your mix. To prove it to you even more, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put the limiter on. And a lot of you may say, well, I can have a loud kick, but all I gotta do is slap my limiter on and I can get it loud. Well, you're sacrificing it even worse with your limiter because now what your limiter is doing to the louder kick is it's swiping that louder kick and it's really just grabbing that. And as you bring that down, you'll start to get distortion. And that's why you say, why is my low end distortion as I try to get it louder? It's because you're attempting to get that top end of your mix louder, but unfortunately, all it's really catching is that bottom end because it's so loud. So check this out. I'm gonna get both of these limiters to hit around the three dB mark, three dB of gain reduction. I'm gonna get three dB of gain reduction out of both of these mixes. Check out what it does and how it sounds. So this is the quiet, this is the louder kick. So pay attention to this louder kick, okay? Louder kick first. Toxic, we were super sick. That's why we stayed up undercover, so bad ridden. Yeah. yeah, it was so contagious that my mama knew. She looked at me like, who are you? Get away from me. Yeah. Now back to this bed that we live in. No. Yeah. Okay, only now let's listen to the other one. This is the more balanced kick. Toxic, we were super sick. That's why we stayed up undercover, so bad ridden. Yeah. yeah, it was so contagious that my mama knew. She looked at me like, who are you? Get away from me. Yeah. Now back to this bed. They're that both, we they both have basically the same amount of uh, gain reduction when it comes to the limiter, but one sounds louder than the other. And what's funny is they both sound like they're kind of knocking the same way, but the other one with the lower kick or the more balanced mix actually sounds overall louder with the vocal sounding more full, the, the bottom end just sounding more full. And that's because it's not working as hard as far as to get it that loud off the strength of the mix is a lot more balanced. So really you're getting this as opposed to this with your master, okay? Now to take it one more step further, Let's come on over here to the new standard in music uh, called LUFS. And this is basically uh, the newer standard in music as far as measuring loudness when it comes to the streaming platform. So yes, this plays a role even in the streaming platforms where you're messing up and why your mixes sound quieter. So check this out, the louder kick. So the louder kick is gonna be on the left-hand side or better yet, I'll play it back separate. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna solo this, take this off. So look at the difference in luffs when it comes to uh, these differences in mixes. So I'm gonna play them back side by side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play the, the uh, quieter kick and I'll keep going back and forth in between the two. So the one on the right hand side of your screen is going to be the lowered kick, AKA the more balanced mix. And the one on the left hand side is going to be the louder kick, okay? So check out what it's doing. I'm gonna keep swiping back and forth between the two. Toxic, we were super sick. That's why we stayed up undercover, so bad ridden. Yeah. yeah, it was so just that my mama knew. She looked at me like, who are you? Get away from me. Yeah. Now back to this bed that we live in, though. Yeah. It's the only place that we could get along. Can't call the homies to chill. A lot to deal with us. So they just leave us alone. Man, this is now crazy. look at these numbers. It's basically, or at times, it's almost a uh, 1.5 less higher on the one with the lower kick. And it's it's literally the mixes are peaking at the same places and everything, but this one just sounds louder. These meters, as far as the LUFS is concerned, knows and feels like it's louder. And that's because there's an overall mix that sounds louder as opposed to just that low end. Guys, this is one of the biggest mistakes and one of the biggest reasons why a lot of your mixes and your masters sound quiet, don't hit as hard, uh, uh, you feel like they don't compete with commercial records, don't sound as full because if the kick is too loud, then it kind of feels like the entire mix is tucked. This is the biggest mistake that I feel like a lot of people make and I feel like I hope that I blew your mind just now when it comes to your mixes and I hope you run to that computer. But make sure that you guys comment, like, subscribe, make sure you follow me on the Instagram at Help Me Devon. 
uh, on, on IG. Also, like I said before, make sure you visit helpmedevon.info uh, for more tips, tricks, um, a bunch of vocal chains and presets uh, for all kinds of DAWs, Pro Tools, Studio One, Logic, Ableton, and FL Studio. Make sure you follow our Discord channel as well to get some more useful tips from a lot of people just like you. And that was my tutorial on what I believe is probably the biggest mistake uh, when it comes to your mixes and your masters. Now, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, make sure you comment below. And um, until next time, you guys.